Ah, viewers. Looking forward to this. He's back, and this time the evil Dr. Wily, once the supreme power in the universe, has created even more sinister robots to mount his attack. But as Mega Man, you've also grown in power and ability. Can you save mankind from the evil desires of Dr. Wily? Each of the eight empires is ruled by a different super robot. You must defeat each enemy on his own turf, building up weapons as you go. Only after all are destroyed will you go head on with the mastermind himself. The evil Dr. Wily. Uh, Mega Man 2. Capcom, June 1989. My favorite of the NES Mega Man games, and I still contend the best of the NES Mega Man games. Um... was uh, released originally in Japan as Rockman 2, The Mystery of Dr. Wily, um, in 1989. Came out in the uh, international market in 89. Excuse me, Japan was 88. Mega Man 2 continues the, obviously, the battle between Mega Man and Dr. Wily and his robots. The game has some graphical and gameplay changes from the first Mega Man. Uh, many of which have remained throughout the series. Although sales for Mega Man were unimpressive, Capcom allowed the Rockman team to create a sequel. They worked concurrently on other Capcom projects, using their free time to develop the game. Unused content from previous titles were, or excuse me, from the previous title, was integrated into Mega Man 2. Um, with more than 1.5 million copies sold, the game is the best-selling Mega Man game. Critics praise the audio, visual, and gameplay as an improvement over the first game. Many publications rank Mega Man 2 as the best title in the series, and as one of the greatest video games of all time. The game has been re-released on several consoles and mobile phones. Consoles including the NES, the PlayStation, mobile phones, the Virtual Console, the iOS, and the PlayStation Store. Uh, Mega Man takes place right after the original Mega Man. Well, maybe not right after. It's set in an unspecified year during the 21st century. You know, 2000X, our old future. Dr. Wily, the series' main antagonist, obviously, builds a new fortress and an army of robotic henchmen led by eight new robot masters. Mega Man is sent by his creator, Dr. Light, to defeat Dr. Wily and the robot masters. Mega Man crushes the eight new robot masters and then challenges Wily himself. In the final fight, Mega Man defeats Wily's holographic projection device. As the scientist begs for mercy, Mega Man spares Wily and returns home. Mega Man 2, obviously, is a platformer and action game, like its predecessor Mega Man. We control Mega Man as he goes through these eight stages and defeats all the robot masters. Metal Man, Air Man, Bubble Man, Quick Man, Crash Man, Flash Man, Heat Man, and Wood Man. Pretty nice, huh? Each robot master fires a unique weapon and has a stage related to their weapon's power. For example, Air Man shoots small tornadoes and is fought in a sky-themed level, while Wood Man can use a shield of leaves and is found on a forest-themed stage. What about that? After defeating a boss, their signature weapon becomes available to the player. Robot masters have weaknesses to the weapons of certain other robot masters. Therefore, choosing the order in which the levels are played is a vital component of the gameplay. After defeating the robot masters, we go to Wily's Fortress which consists of six linear levels. As in the first title, the player is required to fight each Robot Master second time in the fortress. However, these battles take place in a single room, then a series of linearly connected rooms, like they did in the first game. And Mega Man X, to a later example. Mega Man 2 features a few gameplay changes from Mega Man. A new item, the Energy Tank, made its debut and can be used to refill Mega Man's health at any time. It also introduced a password system. After defeating each robot master, a password is displayed. The password stores the list of completed robot masters as well as the number of energy tanks. Unlike the first game, Mega Man 2 does not feature a score counter, and the player is unable to return to robot master's levels once completed, which you could do in the first game. Mega Man 2 was developed and published by Capcom. Um, in retrospect, the series producer Kaiji Inafune, and I'm sure I spelled that wrong, spelled, pronounced that wrong, described the game's development as a rogue effort. In April 2004, he says, So we, of our own accord, got together, spent our own time. We worked really, really hard, you know, just 20-hour days to complete this, because we were making something we wanted to make. 
Probably in all my years of actually being in a video game company, that was the best time of my working at Capcom, because we were actually working towards a goal. We were laying all of it on the line. We were doing what we wanted to do. And it really showed in the game, because it's a game, once again, that we put all our time and effort and love, so to speak, into it. Into designing it. <sighs> now, initially, Mega Man was not successful enough to justify a sequel, but Capcom allowed the team to create a sequel on the condition that they worked concurrently on other projects. The staff spent their own time on this project to improve upon the original by adding more levels and weapons and improving the graphics. The project supervisor of the first Mega Man game uh, invited Inafune uh, to the sequel's department crew. He was working on a separate game at the time. In the previous title, Inafune worked as an artist in character design, but became more involved with the production process of the sequel. Working on Mega Man 2 marked my second year at this. I even got to mentor a new kid, which opened up a whole new world of stress to me. He recounted the development time for the game was only three to four months. This is what they used to be able to do in three to four months. But it's a little different now. Due to the limited, excuse me, limited amount of cartridge space in the first game, content was omitted from the final product. The unused elements were transferred to Mega Man 2. The team was limited by graphical capabilities of the console and designed characters as pixel art to maintain consistency between the design and final project. Some design elements, however, were lost in translation. The game system for the original game was kept for Mega Man 2, but the team included more traps for the player to navigate. The game's three support items were added to aid the player because of complaints from consumers and Capcom's marketing product or department regarding the original game's high difficulty. Basically, your item one, the floating platforms, the jet, that kind of thing. Capcom received 8,370 boss submissions for the game, although even the designs for the final eight Robot Masters were tweaked. Inafune intended his artwork for Mega Man 2 to be more anime-ish than the first game. A second difficulty setting was added for the North American release. The original version was labeled difficult, and a normal setting that was created to make the enemies weaker. Mega Man had relatively low sales. Mega Man 2, huge success. It sold over 1.5 million copies worldwide. It's the highest selling Mega Man game in the series and Capcom's 30th highest selling title. Do, 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 do. I lost my place. Yeah, I read these. Sorry. Uh, do, do, do. It should be said um, that this game was the biggest influence on the two newest Retro Mega Man games, uh, 9 and 10. Um, the success of 2 helped spawn the series from, obviously two all the way up to ten and it was said by one of the designers for two who I also worked on three that three does not in any way hold up to how good two was 